I, I have a website, wethepeoplenow.org, and on that website are two main documents uh, that I'm talking about today. There are several documents, but the, uh, the website is wethepeoplenow.org, and on that website I have a, a plan to a, a memo of law. In that memo of law, a couple of salient points about it. People walk around and say they're taking away our rights. They cannot take away our rights without amending the Constitution. This is on the website. They, they violate our rights. The courts, the judges, the lawyers are violating our rights, and those are crimes. The other thing is, uh, uh, that, that is important here is that on that, web, on that memo of law, I have a uh, parental rights. There's a section on that. And it's got a good table of contents at the front of this memo of law. It's easy to read on site. Just, by clicking on the, the memo of law. Now, and I think people are pretty well familiar, at least people in the Fathers Movement, that, that parental rights, taking away the custody, blocking access, and or denying frequent and continuing contact and responsible parent with his children is a violation of fundamental, essential, precious right, and a serious crime. Now, under that, you can read about the, uh, the uh, parental rights, but one of the most important once, I, one of the most important laws is a thing called frequent and continuing contact. I'm going to just read uh, what it says. In Virginia, the Code of Virginia, this is section 2142, 24.2, requires in cases of separation and divorce that the court shall ensure minor children of frequent and continuing contact with both parents where appropriate and encourage parents to share the responsibilities of rearing their children. And it supposedly, it's a, it shall is a mandate, the court has no discretion here, assure is, means to guarantee, frequent is often and happening at short intervals, constant, habitual. Continuing means going on without interruption. The court is required to enforce this. It, it's for the children, it's not so much as for the adults. It's important for the adults too, of course, because they're responsible for those children but the court is supposed to ensure. And the court means the judges and all the officers of that court. A lawyer, anyone, has to follow that law. The law goes on to say that as between the parents, there shall be no presumption of inference of law in favor of either. The children needs both parents. It also says a procedure for determining custody and visitation arrangement shall preserve the dignity and resources of family members, things they violate routinely. The court shall give due regard to the privacy of parent-child relationship. This doesn't affect, it doesn't say mother, fa child, father, child, it's the parent and the child. And, it, and this is in all cases of divorce and separation. The children actually really need more contact with both parents when that's going on. And it also says, in any case in which custody or visitation of minor children is an issue, the court shall provide prompt adjudication upon due consideration of all the facts. This is prompt adjudication. That means you do it immediately. You don't wait for two or three weeks to decide and, and keep one parent away from the other one. You, they can't do that. This, and it doesn't mean, and the other thing some lawyers will use is, some lawyers will use to, uh, to, to do, fix this is to, uh, will be to uh, use this to actually deny visitation. There's nothing in the law that allows them to deny vi visitation. The law is very clear, parents have the rights. It doesn't matter for the parents were ever married, divorced, whatever it is, the parents have those responsibilities and, and rights. And under Virginia law, both parents are responsible for the kid until they're 18 years of age. And they, so they absolutely, we need to enforce that law. They're not enforcing it, and it's one of the critical things. They're not enforcing the law. They're violating the rights of the children and the parents, and there needs to be some sort of prosecution. Uh, also in this uh, memo of law, I have uh, the information on there on property rights and whatever, and case law. Now, if a parent says, I will support those children, and, and he, he is doing that, it would be way better instead of the parent giving the the other party, one parent giving the other party money, it would be way better to have that parent go ahead and pay uh, 
buy the food, buy the clothes for the kids, and spend time with them doing these things. Do the things that you normally would do. And the way I look at that, people say, well, what's free going to continue? Well, what it is, I believe, is at least what you had before, and then more. I, I, for example, I really enjoyed uh, uh, everything about these children from the minute they were born, changing their diapers, the whole business. But, but the critical point is, is I like to help them with their homework. But the idea is, you, it would be I mean, you really need both parents really need to see the children each each day if if that's possible. Now I was in the Navy for for 30 years, so two of my children were born while I was at sea, and uh, but so when I came back though, I really made up for that by spending a lot of extra time with them, and, and it was just uh, that's the way it should be for, and that opportunity should be for every parent for every child. Uh, and it goes into the property rights about. They cannot take your property, and this is very clear in the Constitution. Uh, they can't uh, jail you without a, 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 a court, without having a jury to decide this. Judges cannot legally jail, constitutionally jail people for contempt of court. You need to have all the facts out and, and, and get this. And almost every one of these rights were violated. And there's a summary of rights in this memorandum of law. And there's many, many rights of them. Every day we get more and more rights uh, uh, taken away from us. So I recommend this, read, read and study those laws. And I'm hoping we'll have some way of uh, educating more of the public